As of March 2025, the US F-35 Lightning II fleet stands as a pivotal element of American military aviation, embodying both cutting-edge capability and persistent challenges. Designed by Lockheed Martin, the F-35 is a fifth-generation stealth multi-role fighter available in three variants. The F-35A for conventional operations with the US Air Force, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing with the Marine Corps, and the F-35C for carrier-based missions with the Navy. With over 500 aircraft delivered to US forces out of a planned 2,456, the fleet represents the backbone of the nation's modern air power, intended to replace a range of legacy platforms such as the F-16, A-10, F-A-18, and AV-8B Harrier. Its stealth, advanced sensor fusion, and network-enabled design allow it to excel in air superiority, ground attack and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance roles, positioning it as a linchpin in the U.S. strategy to counter near-peer threats like China and Russia. However, the program's staggering cost, projected at over $1.7 trillion across its life cycle, coupled with technical delays and middling readiness rates, paints a complex picture of a fleet that is simultaneously indispensable and imperfect. This duality underscores a broader tension within U.S. defense priorities. Balancing innovation with reliability in an era of fiscal scrutiny and evolving threats. Procurement of the F-35 remains a high-stakes endeavor, marked by ambition and contention. For fiscal year 2025, the Department of Defense initially sought 68 jets across all variants, but congressional frustration with delays in the Technology Refresh 3 upgrade, critical for enhanced computing and weapons integration, led to a reduction to 58 in the December 2024 National Defense Authorization Act. Negotiations for lots 18 and 19, covering roughly 300 aircraft, reached a preliminary agreement in November 2024 with final contracts expected by mid-2025, while a multi-year procurement deal is being explored to stabilize costs starting with Lot 20. These efforts reflect a push to maintain production momentum, but they also highlight the program's vulnerability to political and technical headwinds. Deliveries, meanwhile, reflect both progress and setbacks. Lockheed Martin has handed over more than 1,100 F-35s globally, with the U.S. surpassing 500 by early 2025, including its 1,000th jet in July 2024, assigned to the Air National Guard. Yet, the TR-3 delays have bottlenecked full combat readiness, with 20 of the 58 jets slated for 2025 still awaiting certification, delivered instead with interim software suitable only for training. Lockheed aims to deliver 170 to 190 aircraft worldwide in 2025, a target that includes clearing this backlog, but the fleet's operational tempo is constrained by these hiccups. The production line in Fort Worth, Texas has ramped up, supported by a workforce of over 17,000, yet supply chain disruptions and software integration remain persistent hurdles. The F-35's role in U.S. military doctrine is transformative, bridging traditional fighter capabilities with next-generation warfare. Its stealth allows penetration of contested airspace, while its sensor suite, featuring the ANAPG-81 radar and distributed aperture system, and data sharing capabilities make it a force multiplier, integrating seamlessly with other assets like the forthcoming collaborative combat aircraft drones. The F-35A ensures air dominance. The F-35B offers flexible deployment from austere or amphibious bases. And the F-35C extends carrier strike power, collectively enabling the U.S. to project force across diverse theaters. This adaptability is enhanced by its ability to carry advanced munitions like the Joint Strike Missile and, eventually, hypersonic weapons, aligning with the Pentagon's focus on affordable mass in future conflicts. Recent operations underscore this versatility, though combat exposure remains limited. The Marine Corps debuted the F-35B in Afghanistan in 2018, followed by Air Force F-35A striking ISIS in Iraq and Syria in 2019. In 2024, 
US F-35 supported NATO air patrols in Eastern Europe amid Russia's war in Ukraine, conducting deterrence missions over the Baltic and Black Seas, though detailed combat reports are scarce. A January 2025 training crash in Alaska highlighted ongoing risks, with the $85 million jet lost but the pilot safely ejecting. The incident, under investigation, raised questions about maintenance and pilot training pipelines. With over 1 million global flight hours by early 2025, most from U.S. jets, the fleet's operational footprint is undeniable, yet its combat resume lags behind its potential. The F-35's impact on the U.S. and its regions of influence is profound yet double-edged. Domestically, it bolsters deterrence against sophisticated adversaries, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, where the Air Force is modernizing amid a shrinking overall inventory, below 5,000 aircraft in fiscal year 2025 after divesting 250 older jets. Its economic footprint is equally significant, sustaining over 254,000 direct and indirect jobs across 45 states, with Lockheed investing $350 million in 2024 to boost production and software development in facilities like Palmdale, California. However, readiness woes, only 55% mission capable versus a 75% goal, and escalating sustainment costs, estimated at $1.3 trillion through 2070, fuel criticism, challenging the program's value proposition, as critics like the Government Accountability Office decry its unsustainable trajectory. Regionally, the F-35 enhances allied interoperability, with 19 partner nations operating or awaiting jets, reinforcing NATO's eastern flank against Russia and countering China's rise in the Pacific through deployments to bases like Kadena, Japan, and Misawa. The JET's Link 16 and multifunction advanced data link systems enable seamless coordination with allies, a strategic advantage in coalition warfare. Yet, U.S. delays ripple outward, prompting allies like Portugal to eye alternatives like the Eurofighter Typhoon in early 2025, straining NATO spending dynamics and raising doubts about American reliability. Compared to regional competitors, the F-35 holds a technological edge but faces growing pressure. Russia's Su-57 Felon, a fifth-generation stealth fighter, lags in production, fewer than 20 operational by 2025, and stealth performance, hampered by sanctions, engine troubles, and a limited radar cross-section advantage, making it a lesser threat despite its agility and hypersonic weapon compatibility. China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, however, is a more formidable rival, with estimates of 200 to 250 in service by 2025, boasting stealth, long-range missiles like the PL-15 and a design optimized to counter U.S. air power in the Pacific. While the J-20 lacks the F-35 sensor fusion and multi-role flexibility, Focusing more on air superiority than ground attack, its rapid production, larger airframe, potentially for greater range, and integration with China's air defense network pose a strategic challenge, especially as the F-35's readiness falters. The J-20's two-engine design contrasts with the F-35's single-engine approach, offering redundancy but sacrificing some stealth. Neither competitor matches the F-35's global allied network, giving the U.S. a coalition advantage. But China's pace and Russia's asymmetric tactics narrow the gap. Overall, the U.S. F-35 fleet is a cornerstone of American military might, offering unmatched capabilities tempered by persistent growing pains. Its stealth and networking prowess outstrip the Su-57 and rival the J-20, securing a qualitative edge for now, while its role in allied deterrence remains a strategic linchpin across Europe and the Pacific. Yet, the program's delays, costs, and readiness shortfalls invite scrutiny, risking operational and diplomatic strain as competitors like China accelerate their own fifth-generation ambitions. The F-35 software woes, exemplified by TR-3, reflect broader challenges in integrating complex systems under tight timelines while its sustainment burden tests the Pentagon's budget flexibility amid calls for investments in uncrewed systems and hypersonics. As of March 2025, the F-35 is a flawed titan, vital to U.S., 
and regional security, but in need of resolve, resources, and perhaps a recalibrated vision to fully realize its promise in an increasingly contested world.